now we will welcome you to Phil Waybright Gymnasium, where we just sang the national anthem. It appears that there were some technical difficulties with it before, but we got it figured out. Both the teams started singing it, so it's all good. And right now we have the Argus Dragons hosting Lakeland Christian Academy. And with the national anthem being done, we are going to get to the starting lineups for each squad. And now first for the Cougars. It's going to be number 10, Natalie Morris. Number 11, Olivia Miller. Uh, number 13. And some of the names on the program aren't right, so I don't have some of the names. They're kind of messed up. So sorry about not informing the starting lineups there. That was kind of weird. Some of these names are wrong. But here's the Dragons starting number 10 sophomore, Samantha Redinger. Number 14, Bella Stoltz, a junior. Number 20, a junior, Emma Dunlap. Number 40, Lizzie Edmonds, the senior. And another junior, number 42, Amanda Fajardo. And so what's already been a very eventful night here in Argus will hopefully get more eventful. Both these teams have the same records, 9-5, and five, both undefeated in the conference, looking to take an edge in the conference standings. Yeah, Lakeland Christian is 4-0. They have defeated South Bend Career Academy. Bethany Christian, Elkhart Christian, and Trinity Greenlawn. So here's the tip, the Dragons win it. And so here's Redinger, she'll give to Dunlap, back to Redinger, looks for a shot on the wing, it wasn't there. Here's Dunlap, she'll drive to her right, kick out Edmonds. Here's Redinger taking it back to the top of the key. Stoltz looking around. Dragons just going through the motions here, trying to get to Lakeland early. Edmonds, hook, it's good. Good bounce on it. Got two points. First basket of the game for the Dragons. So here's Norris. She'll give to Rymink. Rymink. Stonebreaker drives. Ball on the wing. She'll go to her left a little bit. Nothing there. Back to the top of the key for Mort. Norris. Gives back to Stonebreaker. Both two very solid squads. Uh, one player we should look out for. Been very good in conference play so far. Sophomore Samantha Redinger. She's putting up 10 Point seven points per game in the conference. Leading score for the Dragons against conference opponents. So here's McCrum to inbound. Stonebreaker blocked by Edmonds. And here comes Edmonds the other way. Gives to Stoltz. Fast break opportunity. Left hand. It's good. Drags, Dragons extend. It's 4-0. to zero. Here's Redinger backing, backing up. Gives a Norris, she'll drive. Kick out to Rymink. Stonebreaker gives to McCrum. Shot from Rymink, no good. It's gonna go out of bounds on Dunlap and LCA is gonna have the ball under their basket. And we're going to have an offensive foul. The Dragons are going to get the ball back. That one's going to be on number 33, Dayton Silbert. That's her first. Here's Dunlap. 
She looks inside for Edmonds. Edmonds can't handle it. Kicks back out to Ed Dunlap. Here's Redinger. To Dunlap. She goes to her right. Good defense. Stoltz looking around. Gives back to Dunlap. Here's Edmonds on the wing. She'll drive to her left to the middle. Nothing there. Jump shot from Redinger, no good. Gets it back, good by Stoltz. And we're gonna get an early timeout from Lakeland Christian. That one's gonna be a quick 30 second. Good start for the Dragons so far. As they lead six to zero. Coach Jennings having a pretty good career here at Argus so far. Had a winning record last season after starting off a little slow. But had a solid season last year. Really good second half. And just came short in the sectional final last season against the Triton Trojans. But this year is looking to turn things around, win that championship in sectionals, and move on. LCA to inbound. It's going to be rhyming. Here's Norris. She'll drive, kick back out. Rymink looking around, loses it. Here comes Stoltz the other way. It's a two on one. And they fail to convert on it. Good scoring opportunity, but looks like her grip was just a little off on the ball and missed a shot. Here's Stone, Stonebreaker gives to Norris, back to Stonebreaker. A shot, that's a, that's a great shot right there from the wing. That'll cut the lead in half at six to three. Here's Redinger, gives to Edmonds. She's kind of in the corner, kind of on the wing. Gives a Stoltz, top of the key. Edmonds, shot fakes, drives. Ball's tipped. Gonna fight for it inside. There's gonna be a jump ball. Dragons are gonna retain possession. Could have gone either way there, whether it was a foul or a jump ball. But the Dragons are going to have it under their basket. Dunlap to inbound. Gives a Stoltz. Redinger now. Back to Dunlap. Fumbles. Gets it back. Stoltz. Wasn't expecting the pass. She was trying to set a ball screen. Here's Redinger from the wing. Just off. In and out. And so here comes Stonebreaker down the right side. Redinger guarding. Here's Norris, top of the key. Stonebreaker again, right wing. Ball screen, she'll pull it. Short iron. And we're going to have a foul on LCA, trying to go for the rebound. Oh, it's going to be on Satan, uh, Dayton Silbert, her second. Team second and also her second. So here's Dunlap. Gives to Stoltz. Drives to her left. Baseline. Nothing there. Side's kind of congested. Might want to move it to the other way. Here's Redinger. Trying to set something else up. Gives to Stoltz. Fajardo ball screen. And it's blocked on the shot from about 18 out. So here comes Stonebreaker the other way. She'll drive to the middle. Have a jumper. It's good. Good roll. Got to go. And it's now a one-point lead only for the Dragons now as there's about three minutes left in the first quarter. It's 6-5. to five. Dunlap drives, nothing there. Stonebreaker, good one-on-one -on -one defense. Dunlap drives baseline, finds Edmund, stolen by Calizo.
Shot fake drive, nothing there. That's a stone breaker. Norris, the shot. Foot just inside the line, can't get to go. Rebound to Edmonds. And we're gonna get a Dragons timeout. And that one is gonna be full, I believe. No, it's only half, they're still standing. My apologies. So the Dragons had a six point lead, it was six nothing. And then they give up five unanswered, so now it's only six five, they gave up that lead to a fantastic pull-up shot from that left wing over there from Stonebreaker. And that's what cut the lead in half. That's what started it for LCA. And so now as we come out of the timeout with 2.18 left in the first, Redinger's gonna inbound to Dunlap and here we go. Dunlap gives to Redinger. Finds Dunlap inside, gives to Edmonds. And then I think we're gonna have a moving screen. And we're gonna go the other way. That one's gonna be on Fajardo, her first team's first. Argus with early pressure, they've been doing this quite a bit this season. A soft press. Here's Stonebreaker, right wing, with Redinger guarding. Calizo drives, nothing there. Stolen by Edmonds. And here comes the Dragons the other way. Here's Redinger. Gives the Dunlap top of the key. Redinger gives to Stoltz. Dunlap thought about shooting. Gets ball screen from Fajardo. Edmonds, spin move up, no good. Rebound, Calizzo. Cross court to Stonebreaker. She'll drive, get back to Calizzo, top of key. Stoltz pressuring. And they're gonna slow things down for the last minute, it looks like, trying to waste some clock to get the last shot, maybe. Here's Norris, right wing, gives it back to Stonebreaker. And back to Norris. Yep, they're gonna waste some more time, it looks like. It's one of the best things you can do on defense is keep the count against the ball handler. Make sure they don't have a ton of time just to waste. Stonebreaker up top, looks to give it to Norris, and does. 13 left now. Good clock management, keeping it away from Dragons. And she's gonna drive baseline, nothing. Three seconds, and we're gonna get a jump ball. It's gonna go to LCA, they'll have it under the basket. And substitution for Amanda Fajardo, Sophie Bullenbacher's gonna come in. Inbound to Norris, got nothing on the shot, and that's gonna end the first quarter, six to five Dragons. Started hot and didn't get much else. They only scored, I don't think they scored the whole second quarter soon. Dragons up by one, six to five, as we begin a new quarter. Looks like both groups going with, yeah, looks like both teams going with the same groups they just ended with. So here's Edmonds.
Here's Stoltz now. She'll go to her left, give to Redinger. Inside, Edmonds, good pass. She'll go to the middle, hook, good. Got a good bounce, got it to go. Here comes Stonebreaker, middle of the court. Norris gives to, gives to Calizo. Back to Norris. Calizo, right high elbow, gives. The drive from Norris, pull up jumper, no good. Here comes Edmonds, she'll take it herself. Gonna give it off to Dunlap. Fakes a three, good pass fake. Can't get it. And that's gonna be a foul on Emma Dunlap. That's gonna be her first, the team second. Not many fouls in this one so far, only the four total. So here comes Norris the other way. She's gonna give it to Stonebreaker. She's gonna find Vodder in the middle. And now it's back to Norris, left wing. Stonebreaker top of the key, reading or guarding. Good help there from Stoltz, making sure she doesn't give up the drive. Clizo gives off, blocked by Edmonds. And it's going to go to LCA under the basket. That one's going to go off on Stoltz, trying to fit it through to Calizo. Stack offense from LCA, gives it to Norris in the corner. And here is Stonebreaker outside. Finds Norris, Dunlap guarding. Inside, finds Fodder, gives to Norris. Stolen by Edmonds. And she's gonna double dribble. She thought she had Stoltz down court and just kept dribbling. So it's going to be LCA's ball just, just in front of midcourt. She'll give it to Stonebreaker. Calizo, top of the key, Stoltz guarding. Back to Stonebreaker. Here's a three. It was tipped. And the Dragons will go the other way. Here's Dunlap. Give to Bullenbacher, Redinger on the baseline. Ball screen, Bullenbacher. Good movement from the Dragons here. Stoltz inside, got grabbed. And it'll be Dragons ball under the basket. That one's gonna be on Norris. Her first, the team's third. So Dunlap's gonna get a sub, Carly Miller's gonna come in for her. Stoltz looking around, finds Miller. Gives it to Bullenbacher, Edmonds. Good cut, a little too late. And we're gonna get a jump ball. It's gonna go to LCA. She just gets that pass through about even just a second earlier. I think it gets through. It was a great cut by Bullenbacher. Just couldn't finish it off. Stonebreaker now, right wing. Still only um, the one basket made in this quarter from Edmonds, which extended the lead eight to five as Stonebreaker takes a three from the wing. Got it. Spoke too soon. And that ties the game, it's eight to eight. Edmonds drives, strong finish inside, 10 to eight now. That's another basket from Edmonds. 
as we are approaching the midway point of the second quarter. Dragons lead by two. Stonebreaker, good shot fake. Here's Norris, baseline shot, no good. Rebound Miller finds Stoltz, breaking down, breaking down court. Bullenbacher goes to the baseline, gives back out to Stoltz. Redinger, high elbow shot, no good. Rebound Stoltz, gets it back, no good again. Stonebreaker the rebound, she'll go the other way fast. And she'll pull it from the wing, no good. Rebound to Edmonds, she'll break down court. Great pass to Bullenbacher inside. Got fouled, she'll go to the line for two. So here's Bullenbacher, she'll shoot two free throws. That foul was on Norris, that's her second, team's fourth. Bullenbacher shot's good. And we're gonna get a substitution Number five, Raya Vada returns to the game and making her first appearance is Hannah Stout for LCA. Bullenbacher's second shot, no good. Rebound, Stoltz, she'll get it, got it. And another offensive rebound for the Dragons, another basket converted off of it. We've had a few of those tonight. It's gonna be 13-8. Biggest lead of the night is five so far, and that's what we're sitting at. Kicks out. Here's Calizo driving baseline. Bullenbacher, good defense. Still got it to go. Good shot by Calizo there. Edmonds thought about pulling up. Miller's going to think about driving baseline, doesn't do it. Stoltz, top of the key, gives to Miller, finds Redinger. Miller gives to Bullenbacher now. Goes to her left, nothing there. Stoltz sets up the shot and rattles in and out. Way to get a hand on it, Edmonds saying we're gonna have a jump ball that's gonna go to the Dragons. Edmonds looking, finds Stoltz. Back inside to Edmonds, the hook. Can't get the bounce that time. Redinger the rebound, got it to go. Five, five point lead now, it's 15 to 10. Ball screen, Stonebreaker for three, no good, back iron. Offensive rebound there by Silbert. She's gonna get fouled trying to pass it out to Stout. And it's gonna be on Bella Stoltz. It's gonna be her first. And we get a substitution for Hardo checking in for Edmonds and Dunlap in for Bullenbacher. As Kalizo's gonna inbound for the Cougars. Kalizo drives to the right, gives back to Stonebreaker. Sw multiple switches on Stonebreaker as she draws the foul. She'll go to the line for two. It's gonna be on Emma Dunlap, her second foul. It's gonna be the team's fourth. The teams are now tied in fouls. Not a, not a lot of fouls this game so far. Only in the first half there's been eight total. Four for each squad. As Stonebreaker knocks down the first free throw and we're gonna have a substitution it's going to be number 11, Katie Heimink. In for number 33, Dayton Silbert. Here's Dunlap. She's going to give it to Stoltz now. Miller, Redinger on the right wing. Stoltz again, gives a Dunlap, thought about shooting. Has a good look, doesn't take it, gives to Redinger. And here's Miller from the left wing, a three, got it. 
three-pointer from Carly Miller. She's used to hitting those shots. And that extends the lead back to five. Here's Stout. Gives to Rymink. Calizo drives. Jump ball we're going to have. It's going to be LCA's ball. is going to inbound. Stonebreaker gives to Rymink. Inside Kalizo kicks out Stout. And we're going to have a foul on the inside trying to pass the ball out. That one's going to be on Fajardo, her second, team's fifth. Stout to inbound. That ball's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be LCA's ball, the officials say. So your stonebreaker. Still a five-point game, approaching a minute left in the half. Going to have a give to Rymink. Here's Stout, she'll take it to her right. A little weave action there from LCA. Stonebreaker kicks out Calizo, has a three, takes it, no good, short iron, rebound, Rymink. Kicks out Stonebreaker, they'll get another chance with a half a minute left. Talking through something, they're gonna try to get a last shot on a set probably. Everyone trying to talk out what's happening. Ball screen for Stonebreaker. Here, back to Stonebreaker now. Only five seconds to work. Ball screen, pulls a three, no good, back iron. And gets a rebound, didn't get a shot up in time. Nailed the shot a few seconds late. But it won't matter. The Dragons go into the half with a five point lead. It's 17 to 12 and into halftime, we're gonna have some advertisements for your viewing pleasure. Not a lot of very aggressive plays in the first half. Only eight, eight, nine total fouls. Uh, four or five for each side. As Edmonds is about to inbound for Dunlap to start the half. Here stalled at the top of the key, finds Dunlap, Redinger on the wing. And it's stolen by Calizo. She's going to go the other way. Edmonds in her way. Blocked by Edmonds from behind. And she's going to move the ball forward. Try to find Fajardo. Try to fit the ball in the window. Couldn't get it through. And it's going to be Dragon's ball into the basket. Edmonds to inbound that. Finds Edmonds inside. Takes a dribble. Good move. Got it to go. Extends the lead. Biggest lead of the night. Now seven. It's been a good one so far. Both teams fairly evenly matched. Dragons with a little more of a size advantage. Lakeland Christian Academy is only averaging one total block per game. So not much inside presence defensively, but enough to hold the Dragons to 17 and a half. And tip by Stoltz, couldn't get there in time. Here's Norris, she'll go baseline. Tries to find Calizo and his kick ball. They'll have it under their basket. Calizo to inbound. Gonna look for Norris, not there. Here's Norris for three, no good. Dunlap's gonna try to run it down, can't get it. Norris, another three, but she traveled. Banked the shot, but she traveled getting the ball. Redinger right, right wing, gives the Stoltz. 
Redinger cuts through. Stoltz drives that way. Screen from Stoltz. Slips. Stoltz the shot. No good. Can't get it to go off the glass. Fajardo tries to bat it out to a teammate. Goes right to a Cougar. And here they come the other way. Gives it away to Redinger. She'll move the other way. Finds Stoltz. Puts it up. Off the glass and in. It's now a nine-point lead. Calizo goes right through. Edmonds stolen, but, and she got grabbed. That's gonna be on number 22, Kara McCrum. It's gonna be her first foul, and also the team's first of the half. As she's gonna get a substitution, McCrum's gonna come out for Raya Vodder. And Allison Sam is gonna check in for Amanda Fajardo. Zah making her first appearance of the night. Dunlap goes in with her left, gives to Zom. Good pass fake there. Finds Edmonds inside, left hand can't get it to go, just short. Dragon still with a nine point lead. Stonebreaker. Gives to Kalizo. She'll drive baseline, straight into Redinger. Good pass, finds. She did find Rymink, but it wasn't, but the shot missed. And gonna be Kalizo going to the line for two. That one's gonna be on Zom, her first, team's first. And the Dragons are soon gonna get a substitution. Kalizo's first is good. And Dragons now with the substitution. Stoltz is going to come in, come out, and then Bullenbacher's going to check in for her. Kalizo setting up for a second. Got the second one to go. Soft pressure from the Cougars. As Dunlap brings it down the floor, finds Edmonds. Bullenbacher drives to her left, good screen from Edmonds, finds Zahm, thought about shooting, passing, that gives it up. Here's Dunlap, she'll go with her left, picks up her dribble, and almost, almost gives it away. Redinger comes up with it. Bullenbacher, the shot, no good. Good trap there until she broke free. It's your stone breaker. Shot from Norris, no good. And Redinger's gonna come away with it. She's gonna go the other way fast. It's two on one, uh, odds against Redinger. Can't get it to go. She's gonna give it up, Edmonds is gonna have it. Finds Redinger. She'll go up strong, no good. So your stone breaker going the other way. Kalizo's gonna give it up. Stonebreaker, pull up three. No good, short iron. Dunlap with the rebound. She's gonna keep taking it herself. Two on one, gives to Edmonds. Good pass, good finish. Back to a nine point lead, 23 to 14. As we're gonna get a Lakeland Christian timeout. It's gonna be 32nd. Standard transition offense right there. Get a two on one, give it to the big fella, let her finish. And we are gonna get back to action. Lakeland Christian already on the floor. Second horn sounds, and here come the Dragons. Stonebreaker to inbound for LCA.
Gives to Norris. She'll find the gap go herself. Finds Rymink on the sideline. And the kick ball by Edmonds. Stalls is going to come in for Edmonds now. Give Liz a break. She's been in the whole game. Great work on the glass and finishing inside. Stonebreaker fakes to her right. Gets Stalts a little bit. Here's Norris. And they turn it over. Redinger now. To Zom. Finds Bullenbacher. Gives it to Dunlap. She'll drive to her right. Goes right into the defense, though, and gives it up to Redinger. Here's Zom. Back to Bullenbacher. Good movement from the Dragons here. Bullenbacher finds Redinger. She'll pull up from 20. No good. Yeah, I wouldn't say that was 20, but you get the point. Blocked. Zom tries to go up, but it's blocked. And here comes Stonebreaker the other way. Good dribble move there. Here's Norris. She'll drive baseline. Gives it to Rymink. Back out Stonebreaker. Thought about it. Vodder almost gave it away. And... Here's Kalizo. She'll give it to Norris for three. No good. Back iron again. Hasn't gotten her last few to go. So here's Bullenbacher. Good pass to Zom. She'll put it up. Got it. It is now an 11 point lead. That's the big. Finds Kalizo. No call there. Probably could have been, but there was nothing. Norris. And now Stonebreaker. Bullenbacher almost came in with it. Kalizo, baseline jumpers, good. Cuts the lead to nine. Back to single digits. So here comes Dunlap. Two minutes left here in the third. Shot from Dunlap, no good. Rebound Stoltz, also no good. Gets another shot, got it to go. Back to a double digit lead. Kalizo gives to, gives to Stonebreaker. Cross court back to Kalizo. Stonebreaker for three from the wing. No good, short. Bullenbacher comes away with it, but it's going to be a jump ball. Carly Miller's going to check into the game. She's going to come in for Allison Somp. And an LCA substitution as well. It's going to be number 22, Kara McCrum, coming in for number 13, Maddie Stonebreaker. Finds Norris. Got it. Got it on the baseline. Cuts it to single digits, 27-18. There's about a minute 20 left here in the third quarter. Dunlap a three. It's good. Makes it a 12-point lead now. And LCA, LCA, or sorry, LCA does turn it over. The Dragons will get the ball back. Going to get a substitution. Vodder is coming out of the game. Bullenbacher drives right side. Can't get it to go. Stonebreaker taking it herself. Here's a trap. Gives it to Kalizo. Finds Stonebreaker again. Thought about shooting it. She'll drive, put up a floater. It's good. Got a good bounce. Good finish there by Stonebreaker to get the shot to go. Bullenbacher gives to Stoltz. There's 32 seconds left here in the third quarter. Redinger looking around, takes the ball screen. Moves to Miller, now to Dunlap, she'll spin, find Bullenbacher inside, and there's gonna be a push in the paint. That one's gonna be on Rhyming, her first. Here's Dunlap from the wing, a three, got it! No one near, got it to go. 33 to 20 in these final seconds of the third quarter. 
Gives it up to Calizo. She'll drive baseline. Bullenbacher's there. Good defense by Bullenbacher to get in her way. And with three seconds to work, Dunlap's going to keep moving. And she stepped on the line. So now LCA's going to get the ball for a final shot. She's going to launch it. Doesn't get anything on it. And as the third quarter ends, Dragons have a 13-point lead. It's 33 to 20 in this Saturday night contest. We're going to roll some ads, and we'll get right back with you here for the fourth quarter. Don't go anywhere. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> And we are back for fourth quarter action here. The Dragons are going to get the ball first to start the fourth quarter. LCA is going to be on defense. It's a 13-point lead, 33-20, to 20, as we begin the final period of this game. Lizzie Edmonds is checked back in. She didn't play much of the third quarter, probably just to give her some rest in case they needed her now. Here's Edmonds, she's gonna give it to Miller. She's gonna give it to Stoltz, batted away by Stonebreaker. She'll take it away herself. Down the left sideline, only Edmonds in her way. Uh, the foot was on the line as it bounced off her foot. It's gonna be LCA possession under the basket. Clizo to impound. Here's Norris. And it's going to go the other way. Looks like she dribbled on the baseline. The ball's going to go to the Dragons. As here comes Dunlap. Give it off to Edmonds. Stoltz, top of the key. Dunlap thought about it. Stoltz trying to get position. Here's Miller, right wings. Edmonds screen, no good from Miller. And Edmonds is going to go over the back. And it's going to go to LCA. Once again, though, both teams undefeated in conference play so far. So this one's a pretty important one. This could decide the entire conference and who wins it. Both teams with the same record as well, nine and five. So whoever wins it will be 10 and five. Whoever loses will be nine and six. Stoltz stops, gives to Redinger. Here's Dunlap, top of the key. Open three, got it on a good bounce. 36-20, 16 point lead now for the Dragons. It's their biggest lead of the night. Rhyming. And Stoltz get tangled up in a jump ball. And it's going to go back to the Cougars. As Kalizo is going to inbound to Norris. Or, sorry, Stonebreaker. She'll drive to her left, give it to Rymink. Kalizo, top of the key. She'll drive around Stoltz, floater. Try to get it off the glass, no good. Rebound Edmonds, and here comes Dunlap. Th thought about hitting Stoltz, didn't pull the trigger. Dunlap gives to Redinger. She'll drive to her left, and got the foul, got the shot. She'll go to the line for one, hopefully to convert the free throw. Foul's going to be on number 22, Kara McCrum. That's going to be her second team's third foul. 
Once again, this half, not many fouls, only five total, and we're in the fourth quarter. Redinger's free throw is good. That'll bring the lead to 19. Allison Zahm's going to check in for the shooter, Samantha Redinger. And for Hardo, came in for Miller. Norris drives herself. Here's Stonebreaker. She'll take it with her left. Stolen by Edmonds. Gives to Stoltz down court. She'll get fouled. Another and one opportunity for the Dragons. That'll extend the lead. It's over a 20-point lead now. What was just a five-point lead at halftime. Salt's free throw, back iron. Edmonds tries to keep it alive, couldn't keep it. So here comes Caliso. Tip by Stoltz. Norris gets it back. She'll pull from 13. Got it. Edmonds with it. Gives to Stoltz, right wing. Back to Zom, moves it to Dunlap. Ball screen, Zom. Zom thought about it. She'll give to Stoltz. Drives baseline. There's going to be a push on Norris, it looks like. Yep. It's going to be the team's fifth foul of the afternoon and her third. On lap in the corner, she'll go to her right. Here's Edmonds. That ball is going to get tipped by LCA. It's going to go back to the Dragons. Finds Edmonds inside, puts it up. Good. Dragons with a comfortable lead. Still pressuring the ball like they have been all game so far. Rymink, the pass stolen by Stoltz. And here comes Dunlap. Fajardo to Stoltz. Back to Edmonds. She'll drive. Almost got it to go. Good defense from Stonebreaker. Kick out to Stoltz. Back to Edmonds. She'll drive baseline. Finds Fajardo, jumper inside, no good. Left iron. Calizo takes it back to the middle. Gives to Norris outside. Calizo, cross court stone breaker, right wing three, no good. Rebound Dunlap as we're just under four minutes left. Edmonds, the jumper's good. 23-point lead now for the Dragons. Ooh. I thought she kind of walked with it there, but. Tip by Edmonds, ball's gonna go to LCA. Substitution for the Dragons is going to be Morgan Barkas and Sophie Bullenbacher checking in for Lizzie Edmonds and Bella Stoltz. Two huge contributors tonight. Why they have this big lead. Kalizo, top of key. Stonebreaker, three, good. She's been pulling those shots all night, got some of them to fall. Here's Bullenbacher. Already lost her dribble. Gives to Dunlap. And there's going to be a foul on Stonebreaker there. It's going to be the team's sixth and her first.
Dragons are going to get the ball back under the basket. Bullenbacher to inbound, gives to Dunlap. Barkas, the ball screen. Dunlap drives, got it. Good roll on the rim. Rymink in the corner, she's going to throw it away. Barkas running for it. Ball's going to go to LCA. Good hustle there by Barkas. Redinger, Stackhouse, and Sarver are going to check in for the Dragons for Dunlap, Zom, and Fajardo. So the current lineup is Morgan Barkas, Alicia Sarver, Sophie Bollenbacher, Samantha Redinger, and Ava Stackhouse. For the Dragons, as here Stonebreaker gives to Norris. Back out to Stormbreaker, almost stolen by Barkas. No good, rebound. Rebound there by Calizo, got it to go. Here's Barkas, gives to Sarver. And she traveled with it on the pass. Picked up a pivot foot. And there's gonna be substitutions for LCA as well. Number 33, Dayton Seibert, and number 21, Olivia Stenoich. Here's Norris, a three from the left wing. No good, in and out. And there's going to be a foul. Vodder's going to go to the line. Vodder's first, no good, short iron. And substitution for LCA once again. It's going to be Hannah Stout checking in for Natalie Norris. Second free throw is good from Vodder. Barkas gives to Redinger. Stackhouse loses it. And the ball's going to go the other way. Stonebreaker. Back at the top of the key. Stonebreaker pulls a three. No good. Rebound Sarver. And we're going to get a travel. Now LCA has the ball under their basket. And there's also going to be a substitution. Substitution. Jordan Gross into the game. Fodder gives this to Noish. Stout to pass and bounce. It's going to be tipped out on Barkas. LCA is going to have it out of bounds again. 115 left here in the game. Dragons, big lead. Got some of their underclassmen in trying to get them some experience. Stackhouse defending Stout. Tipped by Stackhouse, almost came away with it. And we're going to get a hold on Stackhouse trying to draw a jump ball.
starts to inbound. Finds Gross, gives it up. Here's Vodder. She'll drive to her right. Stenoish now gives back to Vodder. Back to Stout. She'll go to her left. Kick out Stenoish. Here's Gross. And now LCA just working it around. Doesn't look like they're really trying to score here with 23 seconds left in the game. Little weave action here. The screen from Stout for Vauder. Almost gives it away. Seven seconds left. And the Dragons are going to come away with this one. They're going to advance on the season to 10 and 5 as Redinger almost came away with it. Time expires, Dragons win 47 to 28. Only 10 fouls in the second half in total. We have the Dragons advance to 10 and five on their season. Lakeland drops to nine and six, and Lakeland gets handed their first conference loss of the season. They are now four and one. The Dragons are now four and oh in the conference. Very important game, very big game for the Dragons here tonight, getting that win, making this could have determined the whole conference, and Dragons came in with a five-point lead at halftime, extended that to 19 points. Huge win for the Lady Dragons.